After two days of going nowhere, Jeremy's patience had snapped. Uh -oh. oh my god, what is that? I think that's the auxiliary fuel tank. I'll well, tell you something else as well. The whole fuel tank has just dropped off the bottom of the car. I'll tell you something else. What? It smells remarkably, might, might be leaking. Oh Christ, hang on a minute, James. James, James. The prop shaft is gouged to hell and the fuel tank is gouged to hell. How much is in the main tank at the moment? If we're losing fuel, we've got to get as much as possible into the other tank. The miles were tumbling. We'd managed to pump some of the fuel into the good tank, but then we hit another problem. That's what the fuel tank did to the shock absorber when it came off. So we've had to replace that as well. And we've now ended up with one full tank. The standard tank the car comes with, the other one is empty. Uh, cross fingers, really. The crash had also ripped a tyre off the rim. But luckily, our Icelandics had yet another trick up their sleeves. They filled the tyre with lighter fuel and... Great success! However, we now had barely enough fuel to get to the pole. We were still stuck and then came a call from Team Dog. In the two days that we'd been trapped, he'd closed us down and was now in the boulder field as well. Oh, pilot! Get out of there! Come on, let's go. The news caused a bit of a row. Sometimes, James, you have to move fast, and that was an Sometimes, occasion. Jeremy, you have to move slowly. For example, going over the soft snow, where we've been told time and again there are huge lumps of immobile ice, which is exactly what's caused that. We wished we'd paid more attention at the Alpine training camp. We wished we were fitter. It really was starting to get tough. We felt certain that Hammond was ahead, but we had to stop and put the tent up. And it was a nightmare. It was minus 42, we were exhausted, and Reynolds' prediction about falling out was starting to ring true. Hang on, hang on. Are you in? No. Come on, can, can you just... Put it in. Just please, James. I am so unspeakably Be quick outraged for with you. You're not even doing this intelligently. You have to push it through I'm... until it goes in the other end. James, I'm dying you here. I am dying. You cannot build a tent by shouting. Oh, that, frankly, is a pathetic effort. Oh, Raymond, get up. The dogs were also fighting. And Matty dispensed swift discipline. I need to run him for a bit. This is crazy. They mean the world to her, but they're not domestic pets. They're pack animals, and sometimes she has to remind them who's boss. With order restored, they blitzed the boulder field, and soon we were clear. Yeah! We've done it! We did it! We are out! Yeah! Come on, guys, let's go! <laughs> Meanwhile, we were beginning a third day stuck in the same frozen hell. Whoa, 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 James, James, James! What? You're standing on like an ice bridge. Yeah, what's wrong with that? You're gonna cut your arm off. To try and speed things up, we'd broken out a chainsaw to cut away the bigger boulders and some snow ladders to cross the deeper ravines. That's just going to fall down. It's not, because I'll dig it in. OK. James? Oh, 